everybody, this is Bohan Girl 84 aka Peck to Death 84 here on YouTube and welcome to my let's play of Dino Crisis. I'm really excited about this. You guys know me, I know oh, there's that PlayStation logo. That's always that's always that always brings up very good memories for me. It's just, you know, simpler times. The games were awesome back then, so I'm really excited to play this game for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the journey. And this is just as nostalgic at the, as the PlayStation logo. I mean, seriously. So, you guys know that I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. And I talk about this game a lot during my Let's Plays of those games. And I praise it for its puzzles, mainly. But the game is all around really fun. There it is. So I'm going to try normal. I'll see how that goes. Enjoy the intro. successfully infiltrated under the guise of a researcher's plan. I have encountered no information regarding top secret development of new type weapons, but I have discovered there is an unexpected individual at this facility. The man is Dr. Kirk, the leading authority of our nation's energy research. Dr. Kirk was alleged to have died in an accident during the course of an experiment three years ago. The reports were premature and it appears that he is currently working as the head of a non-weapon project at this facility. The experiment is in the late stages of development. Regarding the staged accidental death, it appears that this country is somehow involved, recommending that necessary actions be taken immediately. Refer to the data on Dr. Kirk. Fun fact, that's where I learned where the word what the word repatriate means.
Ah, cardboard moon. Okay, this is the first checkpoint. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Uh, maybe this has been a wild night of partying for the guards. You know, a little song, a little candy. By the way, I do have to apologize right here because the voice acting for some reason. Okay, let's do this. I'll infiltrate the facility and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. Speaking of which, the voice acting is a lot is kind of low compared to the game volumes. So it might be a little tough for you guys to hear it. wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there and ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean, but I still say you could have done it. <laughs> Very funny. We still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. Yeah, so as I said, the volume for the voice acting is... Sometimes it might be tough to make out what they say, and and I think it might just be, I think it's just my copy of the of the CD. I got it back when the game came out, what nineteen ninety nine. So it might just be that the CD's old, and that might be an effect of it. Because I've seen, I've seen videos of other people doing walkthroughs of this game, and the voice acting is a lot more clearer. So I do apologize for that. So I'm gonna try to remain extra quiet during the dialogue for the most part, so that way you guys can hear it as best as you can. So, like I said, super stoked to be playing this game. And I've said this before, and I'm sticking by my statement. The puzzles in this game are a hell of a lot more involved and a hell of a lot more fun to me and a hell of a lot more challenging. And challenging in a fulfilling way than most of the Resident Evil puzzles. Most of them. Some of them are good, though. So... I don't know why I went back here. I did not pay attention to the name of the key. So it's not, I'm not supposed to go that way yet. This is a BG area key. So the only other door I can think of is there was another door that we saw outside. the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a tube. Hand it over. Let's head outside. Okay, you're welcome, bro, for the key. I got it. <laughs> when I used to play this game, I mean, obviously, as a straight woman, I really, you know, Regina's ass doesn't appeal to me, but I'm sure as a, as a teen boy or, you know, kind of a young adult man... I can see the appeal because I, can't I tend to stare at male asses when I'm playing as them. So it's fine. I understand it. That's disgusting. This guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestines straight out. 
Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on. I like how Regina has no other words to say about this guy. Oh, she does, never mind. Yeah, it was torn apart. And I love how I'm sure in real life my instinct would be the same thing too. As soon as I see a dead body and I see like a gun next to him, I'll be like, ah, I don't think you need that anymore, bro. So I'm gonna just relieve you of that and take it. Okay, so this is the first of many puzzles. This is a simple puzzle. But I still like it. I think I'm just a sucker for puzzles, what can I say? Okay, so basically the idea is I'm supposed to match the order of the batteries in terms of their color compared to the levers that were off to Regina's right. Speaking of Regina, her voice actress is actually pretty decent. Like, she can express sar she expresses sarcasm really well. And I know that sounds really patronizing when I'm praising- Oh, the voice actress can do- this can do sarcasm can do whatever but it's just like you know you remember when this game came out voice acting was really not really didn't have any many high marks in a lot of the games really didn't have many high marks in a lot of the games that came out at this time so she did a pre pretty decent job but i don't know who she is i don't know what her name is i'm pretty sure i could look up look it up and find her and it will be interesting to see if she did some more work I'm just gonna run around you bro because I'm playing on normal and I know I don't have a lot in terms of ammo and I know the enemies take a lot a lot more damage than I'm accustomed so I was I don't know if you saw it if it was obvious I was kind of using some zigzag techniques that work on the dogs in Resident Evil I have no idea if they work on these enemies oh wow okay I'm just gonna keep going anyway. attacked by a big ass lizard. I love how this was like the first instance of a curse word being used in a, in a game. I'm sure there were curse words used in other games, but this was the one. This was the first game that I played that had a curse word and but like I said when I played Resident Evil I'm sorry when I played Metal Gear Solid I just remembered there were so many moments where I'm like they should just curse they should just curse I mean Solid Snake if I were to do a drinking game where people take a shot every time Snake says damn I think there will be severe alcohol poisoning there too so, I mean, but it was just so awkward. I'm like, you know, come on, these games are rated M for mature, so it's already 17 and up, and a lot of 17-year-olds already know what these curse words are, and I don't think they're gonna be, they're gonna be crazily offended by them. So, so I don't know, but, so right now I'm, make, I'm just making my way to Rick. Snap from 
real amateur stuff. So, what exactly happened to Gary? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Anyway, our first priority is to complete the mission. What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get off this death trap. That's a great idea, but Cooper has the radio and he's missing. Hey, what's with this monitor? That that's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area. Exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. Well, we can investigate that area after we've finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay. Then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back here. Alright. So I'm pretty sure I'm not able to use that. It looks like an elevator. Yeah, it's an elevator, but can't use it yet. So I'm gonna go out this way again. What I want to know is where those things are coming from. Uh, as a kid, I always tried to imitate my character, you know, various characters that I would play as in the different games. Like, for example, with Resident Evil, me and my cousin, we were like the craziest video game fanatics ever. And so one of the things that we would try to do is we would just try to compete to mimic the limping that the characters do in Resident Evil when they're in when their health is in the danger status in the danger zone <laughs> if you will and the other thing that I always like to do is so you see here that you have the you have the door opening animation kind of like Resident Evil but the main difference is that you actually see Regina going through it which is kind of cool I like that a lot so I would try to imitate Regina just going through the door like a boss like, you know, she would just shove the door open and then just walk through, like, you know, just completely badass. You can couch again. See, I was, I'm always tempted to check bodies because I always think that they all carry something, but that was wrong. So I need a code for that cabinet. And what you're going to notice soon enough is that this game is definitely one of those games that you need a notebook next to you because there's a lot of codes i mean i'm not even joking there's so many codes to remember for different areas different doors all sorts of things and that's one thing i definitely miss so speaking of codes this system right here they explain here the digital disk d key or ddk is a system that you use for a lot of doors and it requires two each of those types of doors require two disks and then on top of that, once you have the two disks, you need to figure out what the code is to open the door. It's usually a word. And it's usually a word that starts with the letter that the, the, the disks that the disk uh, correspond to. So you'll see that momentarily too. So I think that that's an interesting mechanic as well. So if I don't really enter a number. No, because I don't know it yet. So we'll f hopefully we'll find that out soon enough. Oh, you save. Okay, so that's that's basically what passes for a save room. Instead of you know, instead of having the usual typewriter like in Resident Evil, there's particular rooms. There's only particular rooms that you'll see in the map. It'll have the S, the letter S on them, and you can save every time you leave. And I love this right here. Check this part out, alright? So I'm going to activate the laser. And I just have that habit every time. Because there's actually a dinosaur in the room. And I love how the dinosaur was just like patiently waiting for me to finish my conversation. That was nice. That was, that was actually very polite of him.
So this is obviously the main area, and there's a door back here. It's one of those DDK doors. I don't have the discs needed for those doors. For that door, I should say. So I can't do anything about it yet. And here's another... Here's another... Gameplay mechanic that I like in this game. Mixing things to create either health items, stronger health items, or to create weapon... Or to create ammo. Like, you can create anesthetic darts or poison darts. And I kind of like that a lot. That was the hallway I, ju I was in earlier, but I went up the vent. So, just for, you know, just for you guys' reference. I need the entrance key. Okay, so I don't have that yet in the multiplier. The only thing that's kind of interesting about this game that I'm... Even years later, and I've played this game a few times... I still don't understand the health system. Like, in Resident Evil, you can very clearly tell what the health of your character is. You can tell in two ways. You can tell how the character is walking. Like, if they're holding their side, you know that they're injured. Or if they're limping, you know that they're very seriously injured, so you have to heal them. Whereas here, I really can't tell. There's no... So that that's one way in Resident Evil. The other way is there's an EKG monitor in the menu screen, in the item screen. So that's another way. So you're definitely well aware of what your character's health is. And in this game, I really can't tell. But the only thing I know for sure is that Regina does bleed sometimes when she's injured. So you usually have to use a health item that has some sort of hemostatic property to it. So you can use a hemostat itself. Or something that has that property in it. Oh gosh, okay. So, there's one of our lovely enemies. I don't know if this is going to be the most common type of dinosaur that, that I encounter in the game, but... And it's still alive. And it's back up. Okay. Okay, I think he's dead, which is good. Alright, resuscitation. Sweet. Okay. I still have somewhat decent amount of ammo. Let me just check what's going on back here, though. Okay. Oh, God. Jeez. Something I simultaneously love and hate about the game. Jesus. Okay. Okay, you can look over me now. By the way, I'm not really good with dinosaur names. I only know the very obvious ones, like the big- I know the big ones, the T-Rex. And I'm drawing a blank on all the other ones. So I don't even know what these are called. And that's really bad. I don't really remember my- like kind of my third grade science. That's awful. That's actually really awful. But it makes me want to go to the Museum of Natural History in, in the city. Will you read the file? Okay, so there you go. New product descriptions. Our company's latest advancements. I wonder if this is Umbrella. It's actually, it will be interesting to see if this is in the same universe as the Resident Evil series. Like if this takes place. I don't know. I doubt it, but I don't know if anybody's either said yes or no, confirmed or denied. So you see that this explains kind of the properties of those different types of health items. Okay. I thought for some reason that was something I could pick up, but it's not. Alright. So here's... Okay, I... It was worth a shot, but... Code panel number two, so like I said, I'm not kidding. There's a ton of codes, and this is just the beginning. There's a lot of codes you gotta keep... You gotta keep track of, so... Like I said, the way I play the game is I have a notebook right next to me because I don't have them memorized by any means. Ah, so that's what I was mentioning before. So Regina's actually bleeding. I took a lot of damage. So now she's okay. She's not bleeding anymore. And what is this? Oh, sweet. Ammo for my shotgun, which is nice. Symbol H. Okay, I don't have... I don't have what I need to open that door. So yeah, you see, I can't, I love that animation of her opening the door. And I try to, like, emulate it. I don't know. She opens the doors very author authoritatively, and I like it. Okay. 
All right, what's this memo? Okay, so there's a strong magnetic storm. The antenna will be temporarily stored. The weapons... Okay, I was just in the lounge. So hopefully this file is useful. There you go. Okay, that's the code that I need for the room that I was just in. And in addition, this kind of goes into further details about the DDK system, which is a tongue twister for me. Okay, you'll be asked to enter the password. So this gives you an idea of one of the ways that you can figure out what the code is for the DDK. It's pretty straightforward though, like it's really not that hard to, to uh, discern. So I'm gonna go back and now that I have the code, I can open up that that code panel back in the lounge, which is right in here. And we'll see what's in there. Apparently I heard this game was gonna get remade, but I don't know if that's gonna be true. This was a rumor that was that that was for last year and I haven't heard anything since, so I don't know. Oh sweet, handgun slides. I don't know what that does. What do you do? What do you do? Equip. Alright, great. Alright, I'll be back in the next video.